right, Houston at Brooklyn. KG, some would say, is getting a little cranky uh, in his advanced age. Take a look at this video. Uh, he was ejected from the Nets game after headbutting Dwight Howard and throwing the ball at him. Howard received a technical foul after appearing to throw a forearm. Yeah, they got into it. You can see that. Uh, it all started because KG was angry after he was called for a foul against Dwight with uh, seven minutes and 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They shoved one another, and again, it was a headbutt and eject. And KG still looks like he wanted to finish it. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is all the punishment that happened last night, Stephen A. An ejection and a tech. Do you think more should be done? Um, me personally, no. But according to the rules of the NBA, the headbutt by KG, yeah. which provoked the punch from Dwight Howard, uh, is going to call for somebody to get at least a one-game suspension, yeah. possibly both. Um, KG, to me, clearly instigated that. Um, I'm not knocking KG. Uh, I have no problem with it. A matter of fact, I was kind of happy to see it because I think that the NBA, for the most part, has gotten soft as cotton L tissue. Okay. It really bothers me. I'm getting tired. Don't get me wrong. I understand that there are certain friendships that transcend the sport. Please don't get me wrong. D. Wade and LeBron, Melo and LeBron with D. Wade and all of that. Chris Paul, he's the godfather to LeBron's kid. Yep. I mean, they're, they're tight. And I'm not talking about that because that always exists. But for the most part, you just see the absence of a level of urgency. And I'm not saying guys don't compete hard against one another and they don't play hard. I would never disrespect the brothers by accusing them of that. But we all know that there is an elevated level of fervor when you have general disdain for people when you're going up against them. And when you consider the exorbitant prices that are being charged, when you consider the fact that you got guys that are missing games because of back-to-backs and things of that nature, and the public, by and large, as much as we love the NBA product, Skip, mm. can make a legitimate argument that at least on some nights they're getting yep. robbed because you don't get to see the players that you want to see. When you do see them, you want them going at each other. And that's what I loved about it because KG's a warrior of the highest score. Clearly. KG is the kind of guy, he's going to always compete, he's going to always go hard at you, and fair or not, Dwight Howard hasn't always had the reputation of somebody who will go hard at other people. Mm -hmm. Dwight Howard has always been a guy that has been perceived as being great athlete, works hard, etc., but... Losing doesn't necessarily great at him the way others did. I personally think that's unfair to him because I know him and I don't believe him to be that way. But that is the perception, including from guys who compete against him in the league. So that contributes to an absence of respect that they normally would accord somebody of his stature and mm -hmm. his talent. And so when he gets into something with them, like you saw KG, if it KG, when KG almost got into something with Melo. That's what I was going to ask you KG about. wasn't acting like that. Yeah. You know, Melo sitting up there waiting at the side at of the, the bus. bus. The police got to come and escort him away <laughs> from the locker room. Yeah. And, and, and Melo didn't want to leave the arena until yeah. he got to KG. KG wasn't acting like that. But when Dwight Howard sat there through a punch, KG like, ooh, whoa, yeah, oh, I, I wish I, I could, could get, get you. you. you I wish saying? I could get you. Because clearly, there is a level of respect that KG has for Melo uh -huh. that he doesn't necessarily have for Dwight That's what I was ask you. You understand? Yeah, okay. And that is just the way that it is. But in all in all, I didn't mind seeing what I saw. I don't want guys fighting and throwing, and throwing blows, but I do wish that there was more of a general disdain mm -hmm. for one another that I don't see in today's game. Mm. Mm. Okay, so, but, but in the case of KG versus Dwight, your, your definition of dis disdain is going another level. It, it's, it's blatant disrespect. It's, yeah. it's animosity. I'm not going to call it hatred. It's just disrespect for how he doesn't play the game as hard as he always well, should well, or take the game as seriously as he always should. I would should. never, ever, ever accuse Dwight Howard of not playing the game as hard as he can. There are those who believe yeah. that he doesn't take it as seriously as they do. Mm -hmm. That's their issue. I respect the White Howard. If I didn't, I'd tell you. But I do believe he, he is a guy that has a, a, a vision beyond the game when it comes to just enjoying life. Like everything ain't death.
Yeah. You know, like Kobe it is losing and it's everything. It, it's just great tournament stuff. The white is like, yeah, it is sickening. I hand, can't stand it. But damn, the sun, the weather is nice outside. Mm -hmm. And I do, and you know, I might yeah. want to hit the beach later. Yeah. You know, he's that kind and, of and guy. Let me shoot these half court hook shots before the game because they're a lot of fun, right? That's how you. Well, I mean, you're, you're, okay. you're dissing him. I'm not going to well, do well, that. Well, I mean, I that's how that he is. About it. I don't feel that way about it. Okay. So quickly, a step back perspective that I laughed at that I read last night was from the Rockets coach, Kevin McHale, who obviously was a former tough guy, yes, great he player. Yes, and he, he said, in my day, that was a play yeah, on. Yeah. Play on meaning, we just, that yeah. happened all the time. You just, you just keep going. There's not going to be a fine. There's not going to be a suspension. You just keep playing. In this case, KG with the headbutt, he didn't quite connect. He didn't draw any blood, but he was trying to connect with the head. Right. And just didn't quite hit it head to head. Right. And then Dwight responded with a roundhouse open-handed. <laughs> right. Open-handed. Right. And and I think that really ticked off KG. Like if you're gonna you swing got, on me, just yeah, 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 I'm I don't with your dumb. Everybody, right? well, I mean, yeah. everybody in this audience is gonna start laughing when I say what I'm about to say to you. I don't know if you watch Dave Chappelle, Charlie Murphy, True Hollywood yeah, Of course. You know, but he but he but he talked about you don't slap a man. I mean, <laughs> you don't slap you don't. a man. Yeah. That's you my know, point. Do so I hit him with they the gunfight <laughs> That infuriated him even more. Right, right, yeah, right. that's why he wanted to fight. That's why he's like, oh. I yeah, I, you. I, I, will, okay. I will say this too, though. <laughs> Dwight Howard gets a bad rap in this respect. Yeah. You know, and I'm not saying, you know, if they went down that KG wouldn't win away. I don't know. But I do know this. The White House is a big boy. You know what I mean? And people walk around sometimes acting like, you know, he's six nine and a half with his shoes off and still one of the dominant big men, averaging about 18 and 12. Mm -hmm. I, that ain't an accident. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the, hey. people to walk around like the White House is just somebody you can push around. I, I, I don't I can't go there. Because Dwight Howard does look like he can hurt somebody. Have you ever seen him try to hurt no. somebody? I haven't either. No, I haven't. No? Okay. So, to me, the, the, today's NBA, Kevin Garnett is going to have to go for a game just for the headbutt. Just okay. The attempted shot at the face. Right. I don't think Dwight will get suspended, but I do think he will be fined. And I, I will play that, on that, from there. That, I don't know that, that's fair, but I, but I think that if Dwight is smart, I think that an incident like this will galvanize him. See, that's KG. KG is KG, and KG going to be a kid. He's a warrior of the highest order, as far as I'm concerned, a future Hall of Famer. But when you talk about Dwight Howard, Dwight Howard needs to understand that there are guys out there that really believe they can yeah. get at him. I and know. I'm not talking about just basketball. I mean, they really think that he's somebody yep. whose heart can be snapped. Yep. And if Dwight Howard gets in his mind, you know what? I really don't like people anymore. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start treating people like I don't like them. Yeah. And start being dominant. That's going to elevate Houston to another level. Because I got news for you. James Harden is doing his job. Yeah, know James is. Harden is a superstar. And James Harden is a league MVP candidate. Um, okay. Wait, time out. We'll do quickly. We were just showing video of uh, KG blowing in uh, David West's ear. Mm. But yet, he did nothing to David West. So you're saying he got respect for him. Well, listen. Well, David West. Well, first of all, let, 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 let me put this for the record. He did blow on his ear that irritated David West. Yeah. But let's understand something here. There are there there is nobody in the NBA that's going to put their hands on David West acting like you want to fight after the game. Uh -huh. David, it is league known. It is league. I mean, it is known league wide. Okay. That David West is not that dude. You want to get yourself hurt? Feel free to try and start a fight with David West. His hands are licensed. David okay. West can do some things. Yeah. Okay. And everybody last, knows. Last quick thought. Question for you. Yes. I do not advocate fighting in the NBA. Neither do I. And our ex-commissioner and our new commissioner do not advocate fighting. Absolutely not. <sighs> but should there ever come a moment for Dwight Howard when enough should be enough, mm -hmm. when he just flat out mm -hmm. decks somebody, and I don't want to see anybody get hurt, but I'm yeah. just saying to like, send a message to yeah. say, I've had enough, a hard this shot. is the new me. Yeah, yeah just it. one shot, yeah. and everybody's like, yeah. uh-oh, the man's ready to play basketball. I'm not, not, not going to go 
that far, but but I never forget. I mean, I remember when when um, Shaq tried to he throw the hammer on down on Brad. Oh, on, on Brad. Uh, oh, well, Brad, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, uh, for Brad the Chicago Sellers. Bulls. For the yeah, Chicago yeah, Bulls. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I will tell you this: you knew not to mess with the Diesel. Yeah. The Diesel was no joke, and you that's knew true. that off the court. That's true. I mean, you knew not to mess with the Diesel. You knew that the Diesel was actually being kind to you on the court, even when he was hitting you with those elbows. Yeah, that's why I knew the 76 was going to lose in five games in the year AI took mm -hmm. them there because they thought that the Ken Bay's elbows were going to be enough to ward off Shaq. I said, well, you never received elbows from mm -hmm. Shaq. Uh -huh. Good luck with that. Uh -huh. In Dwight Howard's case, the dude is built like a chisel brick house. He's just going to have to get to a point where it, even if it's legally on a basketball court, he might have to start hurting some. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. I he agree. Might, he, they might have to feel his elbows and forearms yeah. just a little bit no more. No one's afraid often. of him. No you one. You know, if, because he might have to do that. Sure. He might have to do that. All right, gentlemen. Just let's to get him off. We're not advocating fighting. Perhaps nope. a, a tough shove, though. Uh, coming up next, you guys watched the game last night. Zeke Elliott. That's a bad boy. He mm. was eating, as Stephen A. would say. Mm. But it got us to thinking: What if, in fact, that young running back were eligible for the draft? Where would he go? Mm. That is the discussion after the break. First take on the road.